After sightseeing a few days in Paris and spending a day tasting champagne in Rons, we were on our way to see more of France. This time, we're taking a train somewhere new. We're going southeast to the city of Dijon. Yes, like Dijon mustard, which sits right on the top of the Burgundy wine region. In this episode, we'll explore the beautiful streets in town, try world-class cuisine, do a little wine shopping, and show you the best place to stay in town. This is Dijon, France. Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Rach. For years now, we've enjoyed traveling the world together near and far. Whether it's creating lifelong memories, diving into distant cultures of the world, or just satisfying our craving to go somewhere new. We invite you to come along to experience life's journey with us. There's a direct train from Paris's Gare de Lyon station to Dijon, which takes about an hour 40 minutes. Because we booked this trip kind of last minute, we didn't have a whole lot of time to research Dijon. What we do know is we have always wanted to go to Burgundy. We love Burgundy wine and we only have one dinner reservation booked and a wine region tour booked, which we'll showcase in another video. We are definitely checking off a European bucket list item here and we couldn't be more excited. Ladies and gentlemen, we will soon be arriving in Dijon. Please make sure you have all your belongings with you as you leave the train. Thank you for traveling with TGV Lyria today, and we wish you a very pleasant day. All right, we made it to Burgundy. Yes, we did. We got a fun couple of days coming up, and we are in the town of Dijon. Now we just got to find our hotel. It should be about a five minute walk. When traveling by train in Europe, we always look for a hotel within a short walk of the train station. It's always important for us. And in this case, we found just that. The Vertigo Hotel, which is part of the Marriott brand family. Hotel Vertigo. Mm -hmm. We made it to Dijon. Dijon. So Dijon is right at the top of the Burgundy wine region. And this is one of those places that I never knew if I'd ever get to. It's the French, you know, food capital region. And it's also maybe considered one of the best wine regions in the world. So we are staying at Hotel Vertigo, which is right downtown, about a five minute walk from the train station. There's a nice note here. And of course, Dijon is known for Dijon mustard. And they had a little thing of Dijon mustard for us, so that was nice. Hello. <laughs> Not very big. No. Nope. Interesting uh, place for the shower. Shower. Well, the shower's actually a decent size. Yeah, it's better than the last shower we had. What is this? Toilet. Toilet room? Okay. Pretty high ceilings. And this is the TV in here. Yeah. TV channels. What is that? Mints? It's mints, I think. Mints. Mini bar, but they got room to, to put, put your own stuff. Ooh, what's this? Yeah, what is that? Wine? Burgundy wine. Burgundy wine tube? That's yes. pretty cool. Because there's a spa in this little hotel, they give you ropes. And their bar is open till 2 a.m. And back home now in hotels, that's about unheard of. Anymore. Yeah, the bar is open until <laughs> 2 a.m. Jeez, what kind of crowd they get here. So watch what happens when we put the key in. Whoa, everything lights up. There's even below the bed. Light. There's a lot of light. A in lot there. of light below I mean, the more, bed. There's even some up there by the baseboard. Yep. Okay, that's enough of the room. Let's get out and find somewhere to eat. I'm starving. So there's already a few Christmas markets we've seen. This really cool building here. Look I'm looking forward to looking at this at nighttime. Yeah, nighttime. We're going to do a little walkthrough tour tonight. Mm. 
the girl at the hotel recommended a restaurant right here. Let's see if we can find it. Pray Au Claire is right in the middle of the Plaza de Liberation. It's a classic bistro serving traditional, delicate dishes from the region. And to no surprise, they also have a great wine list. So we got two glasses of white burgundy with some veal and so. a white sauce. I just didn't know what else to get. So. <laughs> Sometimes it's good though. This was just what we were looking for. White burgundy wine with classic veal and traditional sauce and sweet potatoes. Oh yeah. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> And of course, we couldn't leave without trying some red burgundy in a dessert. Chocolate cake with vanilla bean ice cream. Vanilla bean ice cream. Caramel sauce. This is lunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome to Burgundy. So right next to the restaurant, there's a cool regional store here. And they got all kinds of wine, everything from Burgundy, so. We're definitely gonna buy some things in here, all kinds of mustards. And, wow, all burgundy wine. <laughs> Looks like you can do a little tasting here. You'll spend anywhere from 25 to $40 on a decent bottle of burgundy wine. However, many upscale ones will go north of $100 and some will even cost you thousands. We had to pick up a bottle of wine in the gift shop uh -huh. and get some gifts for a few people. Some small gifts. The guy said it was a good wine. It's 35 euros. We'll see. Imagine the stereotypical French town. That is what Dijon is. You got city streets that have stood the test of time. Small squares and timberwood houses. Renaissance era buildings and public transport, centuries old churches, food and wine shops, enchanting Christmas markets, plenty of stores to do your luxury shopping, and of course, live street performers. Dijon is the capital of the Burgundy region and has just a population of over 150,000 people. Over the years, the city has retained its many architectural styles such as Capetian, Gothic, and Renaissance. Many of the occupied homes in town date all the way back to the 1700s and even earlier. Being here during Christmas certainly adds even more charm to this fairy tale like city. walking around a while you'll find there's many cool spots and landmarks in the city but our favorite is the Place Francois Rude because of its old world charm and picturesque setting to have an outdoor beverage we'll definitely be stopping back here for sure What a cool town this is. Man, it really reminds me of Alsace. No 
must be the cathedral. Seeing all the wine shops made us crave a late afternoon wine, so we're heading back to the square. You want to ride that Ferris wheel? Uh -huh. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a merry-go-round. Or a merry-go-round. You don't want to ride that merry-go-round, huh? Got some sort of <laughs> bread and something with it. Oh, yeah. It's like pate things. Pate things. Yeah. things. I'll have to try it. <laughs> this is a Cote de Nuit. We're going there tomorrow. Just want to get a little taste of what it's like. I haven't really been cold yet on this trip. This Have is you? Cold. No, but this isn't even that cold. No, I think it's just because we sat there so long. Yeah, we were, yeah, and the heaters weren't like the Paris heaters. Up until this point, we had eaten French food nonstop for three days, so Rachel and I asked the girl at the front desk for a recommendation for a pizza place. And she said, Marco Polo. Just a 10 minute walk or so. Oh yeah. So many good pizzas to choose from here, but we went with the special pizza number one and the margarita. That's amazing. Oh, um, we had uh, two plates. How nice was that? They uh, cut it up for us and split it. Give it a taste. First I'll try the First try. margarita. Margarita. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was so good. Well, that was a good meal. Very good pizza. Whenever you're in Europe, it doesn't matter if you're in France, Spain, Italy, Austria, you have to go and get a pizza. Because they're just, they know how to do it here. It's really good. We have our mask on because it's kind of cold. And yeah. It's kind of nice wearing a mask outside when it's cold. But what a beautiful city. My goodness. It's like almost on every, every corner of every street I want to stop and like take pictures. Dijon mustard. You're in the mustard capital of the world. Uh -huh. Good mustard. Very good mustard. Before calling it a night, we can't just walk past the trendy bar lounge at the Vertigo without getting a nightcap, right? Pecan beret. Mm. Cheers. There's cool hotel lounge bars, then there are cool hotel lounge bars, like this one. Not only does this place look awesome and serve great drinks, they actually play amazing music as well. And in the morning, the entire space transforms into the breakfast area, serving up all kinds of good stuff. So this is the spot where you have drinks at night. Mm -hmm. Turns in from a bar to a breakfast bar. There's even a cigar bar upstairs. I've been eating croissants mm -hmm. every day for three or four days. I'm gonna be so fat <laughs> when I leave here. But they're so good. Nutella. Mm. No matter where you go in France, 
croissants are good everywhere. We were then picked up for a small group tour of the Burgundy wine region. We will showcase this in our next video because there's a lot to unpack here. For all you wine lovers out there, be sure not to miss this one. So, heading to dinner tonight. Had a wonderful day in Burgundy. That'll be a separate video. Be sure to check that one out. But we had the girl again recommended a restaurant from our hotel. And this one was once a Michelin star. Yeah. The chef left. The chef left, apparently, the story goes, and somebody else came in. It's still really amazing, but it doesn't have the Michelin star, which I don't you know, don't really care. So it's a it's about a half mile walk. We got some time, we're gonna enjoy the town a little bit. It's like a misty night. Really nice, beautiful lights everywhere you look. Wow, I didn't even know this square was even here. Did you? We made it to La Maison de Cariatide. You could just tell this place was gonna be really good. We started things off with a rosé cremant from Burgundy. It's basically a champagne, but not made in champagne. It's made in Burgundy. Of course we had to do the tasting menu here, and why not when you're at a place like this? Every single dish that came out exceeded all expectations. the Cremant was kicked, we switched over to some Côte de Nuit, just in time for dessert. More chicken. That's like a meal in itself, huh? Got two desserts here. They always give you a little extra Surprise. It's a little extra sweet, huh? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Rachel, you liked that, didn't you? So, <laughs> totally unexpected uh, hidden gem, perhaps. No, I think to us a hidden gem. I mean, that food was out of this world. <laughs> that was... And they, they were good portions, too. You know, like, I'm full. That, yeah, it was a tasting menu, which was supposed to be five courses, which I think was almost close to seven by the time you added all the little stuff in. But and that was top quality, and the price was very reasonable. Yeah. I mean, the total uh, amount for dinner was 178 euros, which was about $200. But we had a bottle of sparkling wine, a half bottle of red, and a six course meal and add in an extra little dessert. And that, I felt like we were there like two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. That was Very an experience. Nice yeah, and, and a true French classy restaurant with tremendous service and yeah, I mean that, that you just don't find that back home, you know, these little hidden gems like that. It's Unbelievable. It's Wednesday night too, which is crazy. Yeah, Wednesday night. Unreal. We woke up the next morning and decided to take a walk around town before things got busy. It's nice visiting such a beautiful place when there aren't swarms of tourists everywhere. The amazing Notre Dame Cathedral of Dijon but maybe not as amazing as the guy walking past right here. Whoa. Check 
chicken. We got a market here. Dijon. France has these amazing high-grade chickens everywhere, and I would love to have one at home to try on my barbecue, if that was possible. The Dijon market has everything you'd want from an assortment of cheese, foie gras, a wide selection of meats, among many other regional food items. Nice little park here in the middle, Dijon. up the mustard store. Yeah. We're gonna do a little happy hour drink here in the lobby. You got a nice looking glass of champagne. Yeah, I like that glass. It's different. Very nice. We're going to dinner tonight to William Treshow, I think. <laughs> it's a William F, something. It's an F last name. Like William Freshout. My French is awful, so. Yeah, but it is a two-star Michelin, Michelin. two-star restaurant. So this is gonna be something, especially in France, to be yes, at a two-star. I've been amazed by the, the Michelin cuisine. star, okay, yeah. and like even the one last night that wasn't a Michelin star, but it was like a Michelin star. Yeah, it was. It really, it could have been. Mm -hmm. So William Frechot, this restaurant, as we mentioned before, it's a two Michelin star. I think it's really considered to be the number one restaurant in Dijon by many. Uh, I don't know if it's the only two star Michelin in Dijon, but some others here have told us that it is the best one. So high expectations nonetheless, right? So I'm excited and uh, I'll try to do some filming in there. I don't I don't want to be too, you know, touristy in a place like this. Sometimes you feel a little awkward in a more upscale fancy place trying to film the food and everything, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll do my best. Cheers. <laughs> Some burgundy sparkling wine. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we got bread, nice regional butter, mustard in the butter, mm -hmm. since we're in Dijon. A reduction of river fish, mm -hmm. trout, pike, pike. crayfish. We got the venison in the forest, the quail, pheasant, and then pepper sauce. Switch to red before dessert drink. Black currant. Lemon lemon. You find too the little praline smokes and the tile whiskey. After you hit in second time the hat on the souffle, because the souffle, the hat of the souffle, it's always uh, the sweeter and the intense aroma you can find. The chef, uh, the chef, uh, just, the chef, uh, the pastry chef, just served this uh, hat of um, souffle with the um, pompona vanilla cream, ice cream, with granite of lemon. And you One last little dessert, huh? Well, we just left. 
That was excellent. That was a great evening. I'm what an experience. Been to a two Michelin star. I could see why it was a two Michelin star now. For sure. The level of service is really the biggest difference I see. Yeah, the food was amazing. It was really good. But the level of service, I mean, every, it seemed like every 10 they seconds, somebody was coming over. They had about three to four over. people waiting just at our for our table. Yeah. And then they, even at the end, they even had, they were waiting for us to leave and they had their, our coats, holding our coats for us to get on. Like, right. Right. Yeah. I never had somebody put my jacket on after <laughs> dinner, like put it on me. <laughs> not really you know. especially men like yeah they do it for yeah females. for females yes of course but for men yeah. yeah yeah so that was something so final thoughts on Dijon it's a great place to visit oh yeah I mean just a I can a charm. I can walk around here all day you know it's a little cold this time of year but it, it is, is cold, cold. Christmas. it so is cold that definitely adds value yep to being here seeing all the decorations. We'll leave it off here at the main little square with the statue and peace out from Dijon. Dijon.